So here's another video, a bit shoot, uh, the AI and uh, YouTube don't want you to see. It's um, I'm going to do it the same way as I always do. So uh, bear with me, it looks a little bit unprofessional, but um, the information is uh, very uh, good. Not many people uh, know this. So, and if they want to block it, uh, it must be worthwhile. So bear with me. Um, I'm going to start the video uh, now and I hope you enjoy it. So, um, and let me know if you enjoy it. Okay. Have a nice day. Scott, that's jwealthbar.com. Final day support episode 249. Today's VCast, we're going to talk about how artificial intelligence is going to get God-like status, having supernatural ability to solve the world's problems. People are going to just fall right into it. Also, we're going to cover how AI suggested by the World Economic Forum to rewrite the Bible for, in our ministry's point of view, do as you will principles. So the World Economic Forum is telling artificial intelligence that it should rewrite the Bible to be more inclusive. You can't make this up, my friends. We're going to cover a bunch of problems artificial intelligence will probably solve so people will think it is a god. And then artificial intelligence is going to be part of this great deception that's beyond the alien card. It's bigger than the alien card, my friends. AI will play a critical role here doing supernatural acts, perceived supernatural acts. But the good book says let no man deceive you. We cannot let this beast system deceive us, my friends. But the first article I want to cover, if you follow our ministry for two years now, we have said, and we've coined the phrase, the final beast system is mind controlism. The book that we wrote, Seal One has opened, that primes the fourth beast system, that is iron, graphene, oxide, mixed in clay. Clay is you. This is a mind controlism system that they're building, and it's not from my wisdom Again, we set up a Watchman ministry. I've probably had three or four dreams of mind controlism technology. I saw the Antichrist have this fake resurrection after hit with the spirit of destiny. They put his head on a quantum computer. He showed up as a hologram. This is going back to 2008. Quantum computers weren't even in existence, at least to my knowledge. I didn't know anything about it. But this is wild. Finally, the news is talking about artificial intelligence and mind controlism. And when you dive into the white papers, Microsoft's 0606 patent, I mean, it is there. All the synthetic biology, nanotech, CRISPR-Cas9, we're in as the days of Noah. And Lucifer, obviously, is the great copycat. But let's read. AI takeover is inevitable. Experts warn artificial intelligence will become powerful enough to control human minds and behavior. This is that biohack, bioeconomy, the executive order that Biden just signed. It doesn't matter the president, right? Trump gave us 5G that communicates at a cell level. Biometrics is a big, big part of this. But here's why I'm doing this VCast. And we've been all over artificial intelligence since day one when we started this ministry. World Economic Forum calls for AI to rewrite the Bible, create religions that are actually correct. How blasphemous. This is wicked. This is right from the pit of hell. Let's read a top official from the World Economic Forum has called for religious scripture to be rewritten by artificial intelligence to create a globalized new Bible. Noah Harari, the senior advisor to the World Economic Forum and his chairman, Klaus Schwab, argues that using AI to replace scriptures will create unified religions that are actually correct. Harari, an influential author and professor, made the call while giving a talk on the future of humanity. Really, it should be called the future of enslavement. Free will is dead, this person said. Noah doesn't said, right? According to Harari, the power of AI can be harnessed and used to reshape spirituality in the World Economics Forum's globalist vision of equity and inclusivism. Folks, this is do as you wilt. Unbelievable, blasphemous. And it even gets more strange. You got, you're just going to pull back the onion. Anything the Bible says that Jesus and God and the Holy Ghost promise, Lucifer is going to hijack. That's the playbook. 
So he has to deceive even potentially the elect. Elect are Christians when you when you really dive deep into the word elect. Let's read Elon Musk stirs debate on claims that AI will enable you to live forever and immortal question for AI ethics. We've caught, talked about this often. They're going to promise you eternal life. Men shall seek death and not be able to find it. Now, here's where it gets strange. And I saw this a long time ago, over a year ago. The VCAST that we did, Idols to AI Luciferian Church. Artificial intelligence uh, systems they were putting in religious buildings, Catholic churches, uh, synagogues, Buddhist temples, all these places around the world, they're putting artificial intelligence um, robots in in there. So I could see this is going to Luciferianism, artificial intelligence as this God, which just gets even more strange. This is just recent. Can a chatbot preach a good sermon? Hundreds attend church service generated by chat GPT to find out. But AI, artificial intelligence, is going to gain credibility. It's going to gain big time credibility. It's going to be omnipresent tech, and it's going to actually hoodwink you that it's improving your life. We will see supernatural, so-called supernatural, but really it'll be hoodwinking people into believing AI is God-like status. Here's just another part of this, and health will be a big part of it. Live forever will be part of it, but just improving your health through artificial intelligence is going to be a key play in giving artificial intelligence God-like status. Apple rolls out new mental health features. Apple, remember the first computer, 666 was the price tag, 0.66 cents. Can't make this up, my friends. Bite out of the Apple, Adam and Eve. Plan. This is a playbook. This is a, a wicked, wicked playbook. So AI will be the hero. Uh, they'll deceive many for health with physical monitoring that will ultimately be the mark of the beast. They're going to get this monitoring technology in you. You're going to want it to be measured on how your heart rate is how is your cholesterol all these scams right and then artificial intelligence will make suggestions for your so-called health it'll be a personalized plan just for you and then you know crispr cas9 will be part of this um, to get rid of your dna that's junk that god created i mean this is where they're going my friends people trust technology so I looked up artificial intelligence potential uses, and sure enough, from World Economic Forum, they're going to use it to track the next pandemic right out of the wicked horse's mouth. They talked about closing the net on illegal fishing. Who doesn't want to stop illegal fishing? Why not stop Fukushima from poisoning the ocean? Start there. Stop dumping chemtrails on us that are poisoning everything, my friends. So let's continue reading. AI has the potential to aid in disaster response. So it's going to be a global warming um, fighter, but we know of weather manipulation, right? So AI has a potential to aid in disaster response, humanitarian efforts in addressing global challenges. AI could as well predict and mitigate the impact of natural disasters, improve resource allocation in times of crisis, or assist in developing solutions for climate change. If AI becomes an instrumental force in addressing critical issues that affect humanity as a whole, it might gain recognition and appreciation from people as a powerful tool for a positive change. So you're going to start seeing AI in the news being pumped as the solution problem solver. One of them, and this is World Economic Forum, tackling human trafficking. But we know who's trafficking the humans, right? We know about the Epstein situation and Epstein's ties to the Mossad. I mean, come on, my friends. Who who are they kidding? Reminds me of Revelation 18 about Babylon. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. And it goes on to say, skipping a verse, and cinnamon and, and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beast and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. Folks, the great deception is going to be this black hat, white hat. Artificial intelligence is going to destroy the human traffickers. It's going to destroy the wickedness. It's going to destroy those that have poked us with this mRNA gene defilement genocide. And then it's going to give us solutions that are wings of the same bird. Med beds that defile your, your genome. They're going to promise you that you'll live forever, as we just talked about with Elon Musk. I mean, it's wicked, my friends. 
And if you're not awake, you could fall right into it. And this, I had a dream. I'm not going to cover the dream, but I had a dream. Artificial intelligence solved the drug epidemic in the United States and just the lawlessness. It, it unsealed some secrets that no one else could figure out. And here is Scientific America, American, how AI could prevent the development of new illicit drugs. You're seeing these designer drugs. AI could stop that, right? So it's going to unlock secrets and loopholes to make, for example, crystal meth. It will do that and it'll take this third world nation that's being overrun by drugs and it'll stop it. It'll stop the lawlessness. So if you think about this, we have the black hats and the white hats. It's really magic, right? I've met so self-professing white witches. I'm not kidding. And they still were witches, flat out, still witches. So you need to think about this from dark to light, but it's a false light from war, seal force. So the Antichrist will bring in peace. AI will bring in peace. Pestilence, right? You think about seal one. We think that's pestilence. Then all of a sudden, Mark of the Beast will help cure you. There'll be famine. Well, there'll be solutions for food. This beast system will have food. Granted, it might be uh, DNA corrupted food. From global warming, EMP, they're going to take the grid down to my friends. And again, that dream I had in 2008, they're going to have free energy devices. They'll break them out. It'll be a solution. From inflation in the central bank, digital currencies to this whole QFS money supply, this is mark of the beast money. They're just going to they're going to get you to go into some sort of redemption center. I mean, and get your free money. The root, love of money is the root of all evil. It is quackery, my friends. They're going to actually have technology that will be destroyed, but then they're going to say, "Look, you're going to be the cell phone. You, you, you will you will actually have you part of this hive mind. This whole lawlessness of seal 2 to self-govern with artificial intelligence. Everybody will become police, my friends. Mega death to live forever in meta. We just talked about that with Elon Musk. Dumbing down to plug into the AI knowledge. Plug, plug into Google. That's where this thing's going, my friends. And I talked about drug infestedness. Chemtrails, the black hats to artificial intelligence will have solutions to actually clean up the environment. So you can see this playbook really being primed right before our eyes. And ultimately their goal is this digital identity with smart cities and e-government, social platforms, e-commerce. They're going to bioscan you, my friends, this QFS system, anything quantum is beast. I, I hear a lot of so-called truthers talk about this quantum technology is going to be great. Run from it absolutely run from it. This digital identity is going to enslave you, my friends. So Scott with SJ, wellfire.com. I mean, let's summarize a little bit fast, but um, you think about it, World Economic Forum wants to rewrite the Bible with artificial intelligence. And I think in the news, they're going to start showing AI as a major problem solver in the lawlessness, into the drug infest infestation, into people that have been injured with the mRNA gene defilement, poison poke. After probably World War III, when the Antichrist comes on the scene, they're going to promise all these solutions. You can see it, my friends. So hopefully this was a blessing. Scott, SJWellfire.com. Again, of God t-shirts, save souls with t-shirts. Uh, seal one is open that primes the fourth beast system. That's iron, graphene oxide, mix in clay. You, this is a genetic seed war. Again, preparation is biblical. Thank you for your support and prayers for this ministry. And again, SJ Wellfire, Final Days Report. The world is Satan's empire. He has come to kill, steal, and destroy with fear and deception. FDR cuts through the psyops to equip the saints and save souls so you can rest without fear in your eternal salvation.